the 2025 WNBA free agency period is set to feature a strong pool of talent, with several top players hitting the mark. Here's a breakdown of the top 10 notable unrestricted free agents and their likelihood to return to their current team. Hi, and welcome back to Davis Sports Report. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to help us grow the channel and turn on notification to be updated, counting down from 10 to one. Coming in at number 10, we have Brianna Jones from the Connecticut Sun. Brianna has averaged 13.7 points, 5.5 rebounds, 1.5 assists, and 1.1 steal. Brianna has developed into one of the league's top post players, and while her free agency could attract attention, the Sun will do what they can to retain her. However, the Sun has a plethora of players that are either unrestricted free agents or restricted free agents. And with that being said, I think it's a high probability that Brianna finds a new home. Coming in at number nine, we have Kelsey Mitchell of the Indiana Fever. Okay, folks, before you start stoning me, remember, this is the top 10 and she's in the top 10. Kelsey Mitchell is one of the most dynamic guards in the league. Mitchell's scoring ability will make her a target for teams looking to add firepower. However, it is highly unlikely that Indiana would allow another team to come in and break up their big three of Mitchell, Clark, and Boston. That being said, Mitchell stays with Indiana. Coming in at number eight, we have the other Kelsey, Kelsey Plum of the Las Vegas Aces. This year, Kelsey averaged 17.8 points, 2.6 rebounds, 4.2 assists, and 0.7 steals. Kelsey Plum has become indispensable for the Aces' backcourt. Her offensive contribution and success with the Aces, winning back-to-back -back titles, unless she's upset with the Aces, I don't see Kelsey leaving that organization. Remember I said Connecticut Sun had a plethora of free agents? Well, coming in at number seven is Miss Dewana Bonner. Dewana Bonner is an integral part of the Connecticut Sun. Her leadership and scoring ability, despite her age, make her a valuable asset. I think Dewana Bonner is more valuable to the Sun than any other organization. So for that reason, Dewana Bonner stays put with the Connecticut Sun. Coming in at number six, we have Neka Ogumake with the Seattle Storm. Ogumake's average this year is 16.7 points, 7.6 rebounds, 2.3 assists, and 1.9 steals. Ogumake is another one of those veteran leadership skill players that makes her a valuable asset to any team, but especially young team like the one she left, LA Sparks, or maybe she can take a trip over to the Indiana Fever. I think NECA will be highly sought after. And we're headed back to Connecticut. Coming in at the number five spot, we have Alyssa Thomas. Alyssa Thomas is averaging 10.6 points, 8.4 rebounds, 7.9 assists, and 1.1 steal. Alyssa Thomas is Connecticut's Swiss Army Knight. She does it all. She's a critical part of the Sun's success Thomas's two-way play makes her a key target for teams. Though Connecticut will likely re-sign Thomas and Thomas will be open to re-signing with Connecticut, so Thomas stays put with the Connecticut Suns. Coming in at number four, we have Natasha Howard from Dallas Wing. Natasha averaged 17.6 points, 6.7 rebounds, 2.9 assists, and 1.3 steals. Howard's defensive prowess make her a highly coveted free agent that can also get a bucket, but Dallas would likely aim to retain her given her versatility. So I'm kind of 50-50 with Natasha Howard leaving or staying. Coming in at number three on the top 10 free agent list is none other than Brittany Griner of the Phoenix Mercury. Brittany Griner has averaged 17.8 points, 6.6 .6 rebounds, 2.3 assists, and 0.5 steals this current season. Although teams may attempt to lure Brittany, Brittany Griner's strong connection with Phoenix suggests she'll stay put. I don't see Brittany leaving the Phoenix Suns, but with Diana Taurasi also possibly retiring, maybe they may shake things up. Who knows? But I don't see her leaving. I still say she stay put. 
And now we're down to the top two free agents. Some may call me crazy for having Satu Saboli from the Dallas Wings as the number two unrestricted free agent. Saboli will likely remain with the Wings, but teams will test Dallas' willingness to match offers. I suspect Satu is loyal to Dallas and Dallas to, to Satu. I say she stay put, but I would love to see her on the Minnesota Lake. Again, Satu stays with Dallas. And the number one free agent of the 2025 free agency class is none other than New York Liberty's Brianna Stewart. The 2023 MVP was pried away from Seattle Storm by New York and will likely remain with the Liberty as her impact on the team is immense and she is poised to deliver New York Liberty their first title. We do have some honorable mentions and restricted free agents. Let's start with the honorable mentions. Elena Deladon from the Washington Mystics. Just not sure if she's going to be back to play. Tina Charles with the Atlanta Dream. I'm not sure if she's going to be picked up, though she was phenomenal for the Dream this season. Diana Taurasi. The assumption is that she will retire. Tiffany Hayes. Tiffany came out of retirement at the possibility of winning a championship with the Aces. And since that has gone away, I think she heads back to retirement. Gabby Williams. I'm not sure Gabby will be back in the W. Now let's look at the restricted free agents. For Chicago, we have Kennedy Carter. Kennedy has said if Chicago wants her back, she will re-sign with Chicago. We also have Dana Evans uh, with Chicago. Dana does not want to be with Chicago. Her agent has made that known, so I don't think she will remain with Chicago. They will probably try to trade her. We also have Dijanae Carrington, a restricted free agent with the Connecticut Sun. As I stated at the top, Connecticut have a, a plethora of free agents. Nonetheless, I don't believe they will let Dijanae Carrington, who has been magnificent for them this season, walk. And lastly, under restricted free agents, we have Temi Fembegli from the Indiana Fever. The only concern of Temi leaving Indiana would be the extended draft should the Golden State Valkyrie pick Temi Fembegli and the Indiana Fever only having the ability to protect six players. There are a lot of players that are great for Indiana Fever. Um, maybe Temi is one of them, but she could be on the move. And that's a wrap, folks. Please hit the like button, comment, subscribe, and see you in the next video.